Hey LMA students, welcome to your math learning lab with Mr. Stadel. That's me. And I want to use this video to introduce myself, say a few things about this year, and show off some really cool parts to our classroom. And so, uh, you know, this is a math learning lab. I'm returning to teaching after a few years of being an instructional coach. My wife is a first grade teacher and we have two kids. And uh, we're really interested in how this year is going to go. So thanks for being here really appreciate that you are at Legacy and uh, let's get rolling. So with our math learning lab, oftentimes students sometimes they get frustrated with math, uh, thinking sometimes it's, uh, it's a gimmick, there's magic to it, uh, if you're fast with things you're better at math than others. And I want to squash some of those things because math is about creating habits to help you be a good problem solver and critical thinker because when in, you're in the world as you're in the world and you're working with people, uh, I tell you what, some of my favorite people are people that can problem solve, think critically about things, and communicate clearly. So, uh, as we go on our journey of learning this year, uh, I'm going to encourage you to practice four habits, and we'll continue to improve on those four habits. And they're problem solving, they are making sense of problems, they are communicating, and they're reflecting on our learning. It's a big part of learning math. Because I do believe that every student deserves a chance to make sense of math and enjoy learning math. Now, uh, uh, creating a culture in our classroom is really important, and I believe in three key things that will make our classroom thrive. And they are seeking to understand others. They are appreciating others, others' differences and others' thinkings. And ultimately, and the third thing is someone's autonomy, respecting someone's autonomy, which is a fancy word for allowing them to be in control of their choices. And that's uh, a great way to make our uh, culture thrive. Now we know that learning is a journey. No matter how old you are, if you've learned something in your life, it takes time. It's a journey. You don't learn something instantly, I'm pretty sure of that. This is not like if you've ever seen the Matrix movie where something is just downloaded into your brain and you know it like that. So we know that learning is a journey, it's going to take time, and I'm going to set up some systems. I also have a, vi a, video, a separate video for me to explain my connection to being a musician. I'm a musician. I love music. I love playing guitar. That's uh, something that I really enjoy doing. And one of my favorite rock bands is the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So I'm wondering if any of uh, you are some fans of the Red Hot Chili Pepper fan, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. And you'll notice in our classroom, We've got two TVs, and over one of those TVs, I have a string of red hot chili pepper lights. I also really like spicy food. I love growing um, chili peppers, jalapenos, habaneros, serrano peppers. I just love hot peppers. So it's kind of a win-win for me. So I just wanted to show off one of the cool TVs in our room. Another cool thing that I want to show off is uh, this ketchup bottle. This ketchup bottle has a story to it, and I can't wait to explain this ketchup bottle to you all uh, when we meet, and uh, how this helps explain some ideas in math. Uh, for my geometry students, if you've ever seen these uh, cardboard cup holders uh, for like coffee cups, uh, we're gonna, one of our first explorations that we're gonna do in terms of geometry is gonna be around these guys and uh, talking more about that. For my G, uh, seventh grade students, one of the first things we'll probably do is talk about um, my height, which is kind of weird, but also our height as a class. And uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, it's probably hard to tell from this video, I'm above average and I'm gonna ask you to first estimate my height. And then everybody, I'm going to introduce in a separate video one of my new favorite card tasks uh, that I would love for you to try and figure out. So, as we close out this video and as we begin this year, I know that it's going to take a lot of energy on your part and energy on my part to be successful. There's a lot of fantastic teachers here at Legacy, and my point is that we need to create support. This is new for all of us. Uh, we can't pretend that we've got all this figured out. So we're going to take this one day at a time. And I'm looking forward to connecting with you and your parents and exploring what all the fantastic things that Legacy is going to have for us. And two ways to provide support in that process is communication. So you can see that my email address is on the whiteboard behind me, astadel at tustin.k12.ca.us. And then uh, I'm going to introduce you all to something called study teams. It's going to be part of our math culture, our math learning lab. And uh, by staying connected to your study team, 
is a great way to thrive. So thank you so much for being here. I'm excited about this year. I'm excited about spending the year together and I'm looking forward to our math learning lab. So this is Mr. Stadel. I'm signing off. Take care, everybody. Peace out.